Hello all, welcome to Physics Learning Points. In this video, we are going to discuss atomic radius and variation of atomic radius in groups and periods of the modern periodic table. Let's enter into our topic. First, come to atomic radius. What is atomic radius? Atomic radius of the atom of an element is defined as the distance from center point of the nucleus to the outermost orbit of that atom. For example, let us consider an atom. So this is the nucleus and this is the outermost orbit and the distance between the center point of the atom to outermost orbit is called as atomic radius. But it is not possible to determine the atomic radius in a isolated atom because according to quantum mechanical model of an atom, the electron is revolving not in a orbit, it is revolving in a particular region. In this region, the electron is revolving around the nucleus. So due to this, it is not possible to determine the exact the borders for the atom. Then how we calculate atomic radius? To measure the atomic radius of atoms, we measure the distance between nuclei of two adjacent atoms. Then half of the distance is taken as the atomic radius of that element. For example, in a solid, Two atoms are two atoms are there, and here first we measure the distance between these atoms, and let us say this is the distance between the two nuclei, and half of the half of the distance is said to be atomic radius. So, so in this way we measure that atomic radius of solids 75 percent of the elements are metals so generally this method is used for the measuring of atomic radius of the metallic elements so this atomic radius also known as metallic radius and another way of measuring the atomic radius is measuring the distance between two nuclei of atoms which are combined in covalent compounds covalent bond for example, whenever two chlorines come close to each other, they share one pair of electrons and forms a covalent bond and chlorine gas is formed. The distance between the nuclei of these two chlorine atoms first measured, then half of the distance between nuclei of these chlorines is said to be atomic radius of chlorine and this radius is said to be covalent radius. Now, how this atomic radius varies in groups and periods. So now let us learn about the variation of atomic radius in groups and periods. In groups from top to bottom, the atomic radius increases because as we know that the first element having only one orbit. So first group, it has only one element in first orbit and second element in first group having it is also having one electron in outermost orbit but it has two orbits so as we move down the last element has seven orbits as we move down the each element is added with one extra orbit so here only one orbit for first element and as we go second orbit here the two orbits are there atomic radius increases as we come down so here total seven orbits seven orbits are there so due to this its atomic radius increases as we move the down so in this way as we move down in the groups the atomic radius increases because of increasing of outermost orbits okay then how the atomic radius varies in periods the variation of atomic radius in periods from left to right as we move in period the atomic radius decreases 
atomic radius decreases in periods from left to right why the atomic radius decreases in periods from left to right here let us take one period i am taking second period first element of second period having only one electron in outermost orbit and similarly so second element having two electrons and third element having three electrons two in s orbital and one in p orbital as we move right the 18th or 8th a group elements having six eight electrons in its outermost orbit so in this way as we move from left to right in a period the number of electrons in each element increasing so as the number of electrons increases atomic number increases in the center of the atom in the nucleus the protons or positive charge also increases due to this the outermost orbit is attracted more towards the nucleus so here one electron in outermost orbit and here let us say uh, total in inner orbit two electrons are there in outer bar orbit one electron then how many positive charges are there three three protons are there in the nucleus come to second elements then here two electrons in first orbit two electrons in second orbit then what happens here in the nucleus in the center point of the atoms the positive charge also nucleus charge also increases the nucleus charge is 4 as the nucleus charge increases this second orbit attracted more towards the nucleus that's why from left to right the atomic radius decreases similarly now let us discuss the last element in second period last element in the second period having eight electron in its outermost orbit and two electrons in its inner orbit so here this is the first orbit it has two electrons and in the second orbit it has eight electrons total 10 electrons so in the nucleus also 10 protons are there so nucleus charge is increasing even though the electrons are increasing in the outermost orbit same orbit the nucleus charge also increasing due to increase of this nucleus charge these outermost orbit are attracted more towards the nucleus due to this atomic radius decreases now let us discuss about sixth period sixth period starts with six s orbital which is in sixth orbit and ends with p orbital belongs to sixth orbit and in between s orbital and p orbital f orbital and d orbital also added and the f orbitals the electrons are filled in f orbital in fourth orbit and the electrons of d orbital filled in fifth orbit so in sixth period 14 electrons are filling into fourth orbit and same number of positive charges also added to nucleus similarly 10 electrons are added to d orbital of fifth orbit so total 10 positive charges also added to the nucleus so as the number of electrons increases from left to right then same number of protons enters into nucleus which means the nucleus charge is increasing that's why as the nucleus charge increases the outermost is is attracted more towards nucleus this is what the reason why the atomic radius decreasing from left to right in the groups the atomic radius increases from top to bottom because as we move down each element is added with one extra orbit similarly from left to right in the period the atomic radius decreases because the as we move from left to right 
each element is added with one extra electron which means in the nucleus also one proton is added due to increase of nucleus charge the electrons are added to same orbit and at the same time the nucleus charge also increasing due to increase of this nucleus charge the orbits outermost orbits are attracted more towards the nucleus due to this reason from left to right that atomic radius decreases okay now what about the atomic radius of ions we know that by losing or gaining atoms forms ions cations and anions then how their atomic radius changes let us learn for example let us take sodium the atomic number of sodium is 11 its electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 then here the sodium has only one electron in outermost orbit to get octet configuration sodium needs seven electrons so it is impossible to gain seven electrons in third orbit so what happens sodium loses the out one electron in outermost orbit then it gets octet configuration in inner orbit so if an element gets octet configuration then it gets stability so in this way sodium loses one electrons and forms cation now how many electrons are there only 10 electrons are there then its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 initially sodium has 11 electrons and in the nucleus 11 protons also there so the nucleus charge attracts 11 electrons similarly when the sodium loses one electron after formation of cation sodium ion has 10 electrons both sodium atom and sodium ion both have 11 protons in its nucleus so here initially the 11 protons holding 11 electrons so then after formation of cation by the nucleus 11 protons attracting only 10 electrons the positive charge the nucleus charge is increasing than the negative charge so these electrons are more attracted towards the nucleus due to this the ion the size of the cation is less than the original atom sodium okay the size of the sodium ion is less than the sodium because the nucleus charge is increasing after sodium losing one electron so this is the reason then what about when the anion is formed now let us discuss chlorine as we know that chlorine atomic number of chlorine is 17 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 once observe the outermost orbits electrons number of electrons in outermost orbit in chlorine so 2 plus 5 only 7 electrons are there then to get stability chlorine need one more electron chlorine always try to gain one electron after gaining one electron chlorine converts into anion and the total number of electrons in chlorine 18 now its configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 chlorine and chlorine ion both have 17 protons in their nucleus positive charges 17 protons are there in their nucleus then initially 17 protons attracting 17 electrons after gaining after converting the chlorine to anion chlorine ion now 17 proton have to hold 18 electrons then the attraction force of the nucleus charge little bit decreases on outermost orbit because initially they holded only 17 electrons now they have to hold 18 electrons there is no change in the nucleus charge so due to increasing the number of electrons then the 
nucleus charge on outermost orbit decreases due to this reason the atomic radius of this chlorine ion little bit increases in this way the atomic radius of cations decreases and whereas the atomic radius of the anions increases okay this is about the atomic radius and variation of atomic radius in groups and periods of modern periodic table in next class we will discuss ionization energy and how ionization energy varies in the groups and periods thank you